Okay, name is Larry Dordia, D-O-R-D-E-A, Hartville Police Chief. Um, to, to the best of my knowledge, there is only one person that knows where Roberta is currently, and that would be Philip. And it's my hope that at some point he will decide to, to share with us where we can find her, and then we would go get her. Yeah, uh, the disappointing thing we have to this point is that we are still working to find Roberta. Um, I can tell you that, that we are not done investigating this case, and we will continue to work with our law enforcement partners and the prosecutors, um, but we have taken this to a point where we think it is, is appropriate to take him off the streets, and, uh, and we will continue uh, to do our jobs and with the goal of finding Roberta. And the fact that he's got a $5 million bond, I don't see him getting out of jail. I think that he will be arraigned Monday morning. And we will continue doing our jobs. And, you know, the next step would be uh, the arraignment, the preliminary, the grand jury. We're looking very much forward to going to the grand jury on this case and, and presenting evidence. But that's really where the trial should take place, uh, in the, at the grand jury level and, and beyond. So uh, we're being careful with what we disclose. I can tell you that we've done a good job. Uh, been very thorough. Well, yeah, he was uh, he was enjoying a cup of coffee at Burger King, and I walked in. I said, "Hi, Phil. I mean, we know each other. We've talked a number of times." And he uh, he said, "Hi, Chief." And I said, "How you doing?" He said, "I'm really good. Uh, bordering on peachy keen." But the uh, the demeanor changed relatively quickly when he understood that we weren't there for small talk; that we had a job to do. And and uh, I think he was surprised. You're, what it was like having to tell the family. Well, you know, I had promised during the course of the investigation that I would let them know first so it wouldn't be a surprise on TV. So I, I did. I called a family member, and I explained it to them. And uh, it was not a good moment, but it was, I don't think it was unexpected.